What's up Dash fans, it's Paloma back with your Kickin' It series. For this week, I sat down with Canadian footballer and striker, Nichelle Prince. What's up guys, welcome back to season two of Kicking It. Today I have with me one of my favorite Canadians, Nichelle Prince. Nichelle, thanks so much for joining me. Of course, thanks for having me on. I was actually extra excited to have you on today because I have a surprise for you at the very end after the three segments of the show. But first, I just want to start off by asking you how Houston has become your home because you're one of the players that we drafted in 2017. You've stayed here throughout all the ups and downs. Um, you've met Adrian here. So just kind of talk to me about how Houston has become your home away from home. Yeah, it really has. And I remember when I first got drafted, I was like, oh my gosh, like Texas, like this is going to be so weird. Like I thought everyone was like cowboys and like, <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, this is going to be such a culture shock and like so different. But um, I've really just grown to love the city and like love the people that are here. I feel like people are just so kind and just welcoming. And um, I also just feel like it's such a diverse city that like has so many different kinds of people. And I just love being in a city like that. Um, and yeah, like just I think I'm very fortunate because there's a lot of girls that have had to bounce around and move their lives everywhere. And I think just to be in one spot for um, this is now going to be my fifth season. It's yeah, I feel very fortunate to kind of have built a life here. And like you said, I met Adrian, my boyfriend here. And so like just having that kind of like work life balance is yeah. I think is super helpful and something like I've definitely benefited from. So yeah, I think I love this club and um, there has been so some downs. And like, I think we've finally reached a point where we have like this really high standard for this team. So it's been really fun to see the progression. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, one of my best friends is from Toronto. Oh, and okay. We've actually both heard that the cities, aside from the weather, not the weather, um, are pretty similar. Do you think so or no? I truly think it is. Like, I don't know. Like, I I haven't heard anyone else say that because I haven't, haven't met a lot of people actually from where I'm from and, like, um, that live here as well. But I think that, like, Toronto is such a diverse city yeah. like there's so many different people there from so many different cultures and like people really embrace the cultures it's not like it's like everyone's kind of in their own like world it's like I feel like it's very um yeah it's just like everyone's intertwined with each other and I, I yeah. felt that way in Houston it wasn't like everyone's kind of in their own like bubble yeah. so I just I love the fact that like people embrace each other's cultures here and um like I said like people are like super kind obviously that's a Canadian thing like yeah <laughs> people are like super kind in Toronto too so I just feel like yeah it, it really did remind me of home let's move on to the second section for this one it's a little game called this or that so you just choose one or the other okay okay well I kind of think I know what you're gonna say but Toronto or <laughs> Oh no. I have to go with Toronto. I do. It's home, but Houston's yeah. a close second. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, Raptors or Rockets? Raptors. And and we I mean we also won a couple years ago. I so. know, I know. I'm gonna have to love that. <laughs> but I've been to more Rockets games than Raptors, so <laughs> Oh yeah, you, you did the first shot, no? Yes, yeah. Oh gosh, that's cool. bad. But... <laughs> okay, Drake or Justin Bieber? <laughs> My gosh, that's really hard. I love both like so much, but probably Drake, probably Drake. Okay, poutine or beaver tail? Oh, beaver tail. Oh my gosh. Beaver tail? So good. Yes. It's so yeah. good. Um, okay, last one. World Cup or Olympics? Oh, I mean, both are amazing, but oh, I don't know. I think World Cup just because that's like the top of the game for soccer. Like obviously Olympics is like a whole different ball game but like World Cup is like if you win that like you're the best yeah. soccer team and like so it's yeah I definitely think World Cup okay yeah all right <laughs> last section I have a surprise for you okay yay what's up I guess you forgot <laughs> to tell me this what the heck what's up <laughs> I'm oh, crashing your interview <laughs> Hi. Hi! I'm also repping our alma mater. Yeah. <laughs> Go Bucks! Yes! Oh my gosh! Wait, this is amazing. <laughs> yeah, for this for this interview, I was like, I need to get Lynn. Yeah. You guys together are like, I don't know. Two people. Yeah. No, for real. No, but I oh, wanted geez. to bring Lynn in uh, to kind of talk about funny, embarrassing moments of you and 
in college and you know oh gosh good <laughs> yeah. be nice Lindsay Lindsay what um what are some funny memories that you can share with us appropriate ones yes <laughs> yes I mean college is a dangerous territory there um so let me talk on this but uh no, um, well, just I was going to tell a couple funny stories because I thought you could get to know Nichelle a little bit through them. But um, one, one story I have of Nichelle is, um, I don't know if everybody knows, but she's super independent. She's a very independent person and she doesn't like to ask for help or like do anything. She's like very like, I'm going to get it done. Like, don't worry, no one help me. So in college, Nichelle didn't have a car. So me and her shared my car. So we like went everywhere together, like grocery store, practice, like everything. We kind of shared my car, but she never liked to ask me for rides. Like she always felt like kind of bad, like asking me for rides. So I can remember, I don't remember if it was our junior year or like what, but Michelle, I think she was at the Olympics or something. I had to like, ship her stuff or she had to get, I don't know. She had to get some stuff. And she's like, yeah, I have to go to the post office or like UPS or something and get, get my stuff. But I was like, oh, do you want me to drive you? And she's like, no, no, like I'm fine. I don't need you. Like I, I can get it, I get it. I was like, well, Michelle, like it's literally a two minute drive that you have to walk like 20 minutes. Like, what do you mean? Like, I'll just come get it. Anyways, we had this little battle and finally I'm like, I'm gonna come get you. So she, anyways, I pull up. Michelle is standing outside of the post office with like, giant suitcases like three large boxes i was like and what was your game plan here like what you were just gonna <laughs> carry these like one by one back to our apartment like so i just always picture michelle just like what if oh i didn't go gosh. that day to pick her up and she would just be like heaving <laughs> these boxes down like ohio state campus yeah like, yeah Lindsay um, was literally my saving grace in college she drove me everywhere so i was like you know what? i'm gonna be independent and Go walk home with my suitcase. <laughs> and then I called. I was like, hey. <laughs> Literally, every, like, I'm not even kidding. Every other day, because you know how you get pictures that are like, oh, from four years ago. <laughs> like, lit every other day, Lindsay will send me a memory of me sleeping, like, on a bus or, like, oh on the couch. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, honestly, this is actually bullying. The fact, like, this <laughs> let me, let me enjoy my naps, like, without the world seeing me like this. Yeah, it's just, yeah. it's so funny. And then, like, when we used to, you know, get ready to go out or, like, whatever, she would be like, oh, like, I don't take that long to get ready. Like, I'll be fine. So she, I'd be, like, getting ready in our bathroom. And she's, I'm like, Michelle? Michelle? And I go in there and she's napping. And I'm like, Michelle, what are you doing? Like, let's go. She's like, it's taking, like, 10 minutes. I'll be fine. Cause she's just naturally beautiful, whatever. Anyways, but then our, our one friend, um, like, we had a four-bedroom, or, yeah, four bedroom our junior senior sophomore junior senior year and the other two girls would like do their hair and do everything and Michelle would just like wake up like 10 minutes before and think she was gonna beat us like downstairs and like sometimes she did but like usually I'm like maybe cut the nap down Michelle like we need you <laughs> naps are necessary I'm sorry how many times do you snooze I actually see I'm good with the snooze in the morning I just wake up Okay. I'm good with that. I have and like I un <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I know I'll make up for it with a nap later in the day, so I'll just wake up. <laughs> I feel like you've kind of changed though. I feel like you're I've not as better. much of a napper as you were back I've gotten a lot better, like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you've changed. You're different. Yeah. Thank you so much, Lance. I just wanted to bring you in. Um, when I thought about having Michelle here, my first thought was, I need to bring Lynn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. This is a great <laughs> surprise. <laughs> Thank you so much for, for taking the time. About being sad that we're not together anymore, but yeah, for sure. Enjoy uh -huh. the rest of your interview, but it was, thanks for letting Thank me come you, in. Thank you, Lynn. Michelle, don't be too mad, but <laughs> bye, Loma. Bye, Lynn. Love you. Bye. bye.